Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. So today's video I have a library haul for you guys and these are my favorite ones to watch because one it helps you save money on um, buying books and also two you utilize your library. I'm a young adult librarian and I cannot tell you how beneficial a library is to your life especially if you love to read books and you just can't really um, you're gonna really tight budget and you can't really um, buy books. Hardback books itself may cost between $12 to $20, you know. And so, this is like another alternative if you want to save money for your books. So, let's just get into it. I have read, I believe, two of these books already, and I already turned them in because you don't want to have those late fees. I've already turned those in, so I will insert a picture of those books here as well. And I have the other three, I believe. I think I have paperback, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get that or not. But let's get right into it. So I guess I'll start with the ones I already read. So the first one that I read is A Torch Against the Night by Sabat Tahir, which is book two in the Ember and Ashes series. Book three just came out, which I have as well. I'm so excited I cannot wait to read it. Um, which is called Reaper, A Reaper in the Gates. And book two follows the events right after book one, which I'm not going to really tell you the synopsis of because it's going to give away a lot of book one. And because this is still a fairly new series, I know a lot of people are reading this book, or especially with the third one coming out, and it's still new. All I'm going to say is it was a really good book and I'm really glad that I picked it up. Um, I read the first one for Java and the Librarians and I did enjoy the first one a lot. I will say there was one thing though that I didn't like in the book, but that's a whole different topic and I will say if I, if I talk about it, it probably spoil it for some. So I may just do a separate video of an Ember and Ashes um, another time, but yeah. I read was Beyond the Velvet Rope by Tiffany Ash Tiffany Ashley or Ashley Tiffany one of those I have a picture here somewhere but though that one I believe was a new adult um, fiction erotic book and I absolutely love 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 new adult contemporaries I just I feel like because I'm 28 and I feel like they just they're written for this age group especially like if you don't really want to read YA but you're not like you trying to get out of YA but you're not quite ready to get into like adult books I feel like these are like perfect books and this book is rec recommended to me from a friend of mine and she's also a co-worker this book follows a PR who lives in New York she's very sought after she is always being contacted to do publicity for um, any type of revenue that's coming available and so she one of her contacts contacts her from Miami and he's an investor into a club that's down there called Club Babylonia and the club owner name is Elliot Richardson. However, she is reluctant to move from um, New York to Miami because it's for three months and her mom who suffers from dementia, um, she doesn't want to leave her mom in New York. Also, Elliot does not hire women on his job. And so when he calls her to tell her that she automatically thinks he's this big douchebag or butthole or anything like that, but with much convincing from her contact in Miami, he eventually yields and he um, hires her and she comes down for three months out there. Of course, things um, get a little spicy in it and she's in for more than what she really bargained for and so is Elliot. I will say that I... I really enjoy this book, but I felt like it didn't need to be 500 pages long. I feel like it could have sufficed with just maybe 300 something pages, like like is like the regular um, pages for a novel. But it didn't need 500 pages because I feel like some of it had like little fillers in it as well. Just meaning she didn't really know what else to put there, so she just dragged it out and whatnot. That was really the only thing that I had for it. I gave it four stars. And I also gave um, um, Torch Against the Night four stars. But, um, and also it's an interracial um, novel. And I've never read um, a novel with an African-American woman and a Caucasian man. I never read it. So it was really nice to have something different. But um, 
yeah, I loved it. Like I said, I just felt like it was a dragged out story and it didn't really need to be dragged out. This book that I have is One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. And this is actually the book for Driving the Librarians, which is next Tuesday, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And I cannot wait to read this. We hardly do mysteries. Most of the time it's always fantasy, which is all we really have been doing a lot lately this year. So we're trying to do something different. But I've heard mixed reviews about this book. I heard it is good. I heard it is not quite as good. But I don't know. It's a good topic for discussion with between back and forth between good and not. Who knows? I hope that I like it. I really hope I like it because I picked this book. So, yeah, this story follows, I believe, one, two, three, four, five teens. And they each have detention on Monday. And so they're like the regular, the stereotypical brain, the beauty, the criminal, the athlete, and the outcast. And they go into detention on Monday. And when detention is over, only four of them come out. The fifth one, Simon who is like, he owns, I think he has his own little slam site or something like that. He ends up dead. And so the only people that were in there were just the five of them. And another twist to it is that on Tuesday, the following day, he was supposed to post some really juicy, nasty stuff about these characters in here. So that's all I really know about this story. Um, I hope, like I said, I hope it's good. The premise sounds really good. And... The little bit that I did read is like it's told from each student's point of view. So, we'll see. This one that I have is A Reaper in the Gaze by Savata here. And I cannot wait to read this. This is book three, like I mentioned before. And I just got it this week. And it is like, oh my gosh, like, don't spoil myself, don't spoil myself. Like, almost 500 pages. And I love book maps. And I feel like if you have a map in a book, it's going to be really good. So I cannot wait. And also these covers, I don't know exactly how I feel with these covers because, I mean, I like the original one, but I don't know. I don't know. But I am like, oh, they got the other ones on the back of them too. So I don't know how I feel. I think A Torch Against the Night is the best one, but I like the previous covers. I don't know, maybe they could have, I don't know. But the cover doesn't matter. What matters is the inside of them. This book that I have that I heard so many people talk about is the Laurel K. Hamilton Guilty, um, uh, the Laurel K. Hamilton um, book, the Anita Blake series. I have heard so much things about this series, and I know it's a pretty old series, 2007. But I do want to read this. Um, one of my favorite adult authors is Sherilyn Kenyon, and I was looking for something to read, and this is what came up in the queue. So I am fairly excited to read this. I hope that I love it, and the good thing about it is if I like it, it was like so many more within this series as well. So hopefully, hopefully this will be really good. I'm excited to read this. I have this Dark Prince by Christine Fihan, and I remember reading this book a while back. I don't remember anything at all, but I did. Uh, we own this whole copy of the library, this whole series at the library, and I really wanted to read it. And it's really, um, like, it's really quick and easy to read. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pick this up and try to read it. I don't know if I'll get to it this month. Well, I know I probably won't get to it this month, so you, I'll probably push this out to my TBR for August from the library, but um, I believe her name is Beth. I'm not sure. I may be getting confused with J.R. Ward's um, Black Dagger Brotherhood series, but the main, the, the, guy's, the guy's name is McCall. But it's that, all I know is that it's said in the Carpathian Mountains, and I think he's like a vampire or something like that. I don't know, but I'll find out. All for my library book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you check out books from your library and they're set as your TBR or your haul for the month, please comment down below and let me know so we can talk about them and I make an add some what you have to my August TBR. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!